Welcome to Survival on a Budget Made Easy. In this video, we're switching out breakers. If you want to learn more about it, I'll be right back. Okay, one well, best survival on a budget made easy. Like I said, we're switching out breakers. I got a double pole 60 to replace the stubble pole 70. It's supposed to be a double pole 60, but I had to get the whole breaker panel replaced. And I didn't have a double pole 60 at the time, so they stuck in a double pole 70 to keep my furnace going. Now this is a mobile home, so it does have an outside disconnect. Let's go ahead and take a quick look at that. Okay, there's Blue Dog in the background, supervising as always. But this is pretty simple. Open up your door. Turn off your main breaker. Turn off both of your 200 amp breakers. And close the door. Okay. Now, the power's off, I know, because we just turned it off out there, but I'm going to go ahead and turn it off in here, too, just to ease my own paranoia. Now, I did look around the house to make sure everything was off, and it was. So, the next step is, we're going to remove our screws and take the cover off. I noticed on the new installs, they got these plastic covers. You see this bolt here? It's kind of the same thing underneath them. These are your hot lines coming in. Years ago, they never covered them, so you had to be real careful working in your breaker box because if you touch those, it's going to be the last thing you touch. And here's our double pole breaker. Now, I do have a test light. Okay, I'm going to take my test light. Turn it on. Make sure there's no power to it. Then I got these two screws, and you open up these little clamps. Okay, go ahead and unscrew those a bit. It'll make it a little bit easier on you when you put it in. Just be careful not to screw them the whole way out. Right here's the breaker we're replacing. My recommendation is either write down or take a picture of how it looks. That way you can remember black, white. Go ahead and unscrew this. There we go. Pull your wires out. Now these just pull out, it takes a little bit of effort, but they're not too bad. There we go. Okay, these got these little notches right here. You gotta line those up with these, and this part here will slide on the, these little pieces coming out this way. There you go. Now you can see how they open up so you can stick the wire in there. I'm gonna go ahead. Stick our white wire in there. Tighten that down. You want it tight, but you don't want it crazy tight. Give it a little pull, make sure it's in there. Yep. 
Do the same with your black. Tighten that down, not crazy tight. Now we're going to put our cover back on. This, this is a good time to have a third hand or have somebody helping you. Blue, blue dog's laying on the bed watching. That ain't much of a help for me. Turn this on. Make sure all your brakes are turned on. Go out and turn your main power on and check to make sure everything's working like I said it's nothing too awful just remember cut the power I don't want to see nobody getting hurt or hear about anybody getting hurt do me a favor click on that subscribe button probably up in this corner and as always thank you for watching